YouTube, you're watching Brett's iPod Help, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice running on 4.2.1 using the newly released Green Poison Jailbreak. Now this jailbreak is untethered. If you do not know what that means, it means that you you do not need to rerun the jailbreak program to boot your iDevice. Now previous to Green Poison, iDevice users would have had to have used Red Snow, which was a tethered jailbreak. And every time you shut off your iDevice, that means that you hold the power button until you see the slide to power off. If you wanted to turn your iPod or iPhone or iPad back on, you would have had to rerun the jailbreak program to do so. So that was a very bad, well not very bad, it was a very, it was not a good way to, a lot of people got upset, let's just say. So um, today I'll be showing you how to do the new jailbreak, which is untethered. You do not need to uh, rerun the jailbreak program to turn it on, which is just amazing. Thank you to the Gronic dev team, you're amazing. So um, step one, you're going to want to open up your web browser and go to this site here. It is greenpoison.com and here you can choose to either use the Mac version, Linux, or Windows. And here we go, back up here. Uh, so all these versions of the versions are the same, so I'll be using the Windows version. So once you've had that downloaded, you will have a little uh, zip file that you can extract here, and then you get this program right here. So open this up. And I should also let you know that you should um, not have a jailbreak currently running on your iDevice. So if you have like Red Snow or something, you should restore your iPod or iPhone or iPad, whatever, uh, to an unjailbroken state. So um, once you've done that, you're going to want to power off your iDevice. So here I'll do this. And power off. My iDevice is non jailbroken, so there uh, you go. So I'll just be going through the next step quickly. I uh, will not be demonstrating this quite yet. I'll just basically be showing you. So it says prepared jailbreak, DFU, and what that does is that's a restore state. That's what DFU stands for. And so it just there's a countdown here. So what you first want to do is hold your sleep button for two seconds. Then after that is done, you're going to want to hold your home and power button at the same time without releasing your uh, power button for about 10 seconds, then it's going to want you to do um, release the sleep button, which is this one, but keep holding the home button. So again, this for 2 seconds, then this for 10 seconds, and then release the sleep button for, uh, and then just keep holding the home button for 15. So let's just restart this again. Okay, so here we go, it's turned off now I'll be doing it for you. So here we go, DFU, get ready. Three, two, okay, now holding the sleep button, now the home button, so both are holding. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now release the sleep button, but keep holding your home button. So you should hear your computer go and doing some beeping or something. And okay, there we go. So then you get this little option that shows up right here, jailbreak. So go ahead and click that and zoom out here. So now it says jailbreaking. And you get this little thing and your screen goes white. This is all normal. So I'm not going to edit any of this out so you can see exactly what goes on. And then this is all finished, so once that's done you can basically quit out of that and the rest is all on your iDevice. Uh, hopefully my battery will last all the way through this. It's kind of low right now. So I'm just going to uh, run through the devices that are available for this jailbreak. For the iPhones, you get the iPhone 4, 3GS, and 3G. For the iPod Touches, you get the fourth generation 
the third generation and the second generation along with the iPad and the Apple TVs they're in their own category and you get this cool little anim animation thing little skull and it disappeared and now it's booting up I should also let you know that I have a Twitter account and it's Brett's iPod Help. You can follow me there if you want to keep up to date with the latest in jailbreaking and iOS news, along with any other tech stuff that interests me that I would think you should know. Okay, so it started up and you can slide to unlock and then you're going to get this icon right here. It's a loader so make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection then open up the application and then you see Cydia right here uh, too bad it doesn't focus anyways you get Cydia so you can install it right here install now it's downloading my Wi-Fi is acting a bit slow today so bear with me and then extracting success And oh, there we go. Okay. So then it's respringing or restarting rather. I don't know if you can see a little pirate thing. The camera is not one to focus. So now you have Cydia on here, so you can go ahead and open that up, and that's going to initialize the file system. Give it a minute. Why won't you focus? I think zooming in and out kind of screwed it up. I don't know. You get the gist of it. At least I hope you do. Sorry for the thing. Anyways. So once this is complete, uh, you should respring. It will automatically respring your device. If you don't know what that means, it just basically, it's like a quick restart. If to like quickly describe it. Oops, taking a while. There we go. Okay, now it's respringing. And you can go back into Cydia again. And then you can choose if you're a user, hacker, or developer. I'm obviously a user, and I assume that most of you guys are too. Unless you're a hacker or developer, then you chose, choose um, these two. So user, then click done. And there you have it. You have Cydia. And um, so definitely subscribe if you want to know how to get tweaks and other cool things from Cydia. I have lots of those. And so just hit the subscribe button, which is up here, right there. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter if you have not heard. And Brett's iPod help for the latest in iOS jailbreaking, news, and anything else that interests me in the tech world. So I hope you've liked this quick tutorial. This has been Brett's iPod Help. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.